Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and this one's a bit odd because we've got two weeks in a row of predictions. I say two weeks, we've actually got four weeks in a row. Starting last week with Money in the Bank, going into Double or Nothing today. Yes, we are doing AEW's Double or Nothing today. Uh, next week we've got uh, Takeover and then the week after we've, we've got uh, Super Showdown. So I. A lot of wrestling coming your way, a lot of wrestling coming your way on this. Um, Thomas wants to be a part of this, like actually giving his predictions, and he will be a part of the Double Enough in Forfeits, which will obviously be uh, his forfeit and my forfeit, and whoever loses this will actually do both. But he doesn't fancy being in the video today, so uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to go for a main, give my reasons, and then I'll let you know who Thomas actually has for this. So with all that being said, let us actually get into the predictions. So the first match that we've got is Kip Sabian versus Sammy Guevara. Uh, for, for what I understand, these two were supposed to be in the Casino Battle Royal, but for some reason now they've got a match. Kind of confused on it, but you know what? It should be a very, very good match, actually. These two are, are actually really good. I am going to go with Kip Sabian on this. Uh, and I know for a fact that Thomas has got Kip Sabian for this one as well. So we're actually both tying on here. Kip Sabian for the win. Next up, we have the Casino Battle Royale. Uh, this is 21 man and the rules are a little bit odd. So let me go through the rules. I've got them in front of me here. 21 competitors will choose from a deck of 21 cards. The deck will feature 5 of each suit and 1 joker. Five of one suit will enter the ring and fight it out. A few minutes later, the five who picked another suit will arrive, and every few minutes that will happen. Uh, until finally, the person who picked the Joker comes in as the last person. The winner of this will actually receive a shot at the AEW Ch World Championship. Uh, th th this will be at a later date, obviously, um, and we'll get on to who their opponent will be. So, my pick for this one, uh, me and Tom have both gone uh, with very, very risky ones here. Uh, my pick for this one is going to be John Moxley. We've seen the video packages for John Moxley uh, on Twitter and everything ever since he left WWE. And we've been up in the air about where he's actually going to go. I feel like this is going to be it. He's going to come out as a surprise entrant for the Casino Battle Royal. And I, I feel like he's going to win it and get a shot against what we'll talk about later. Thomas has gone with CM Punk for this one. This one's, a, I, I feel like this one's a longer shot than mine really. Uh, I don't know, I've, I feel like CM Punk may actually come and get involved in the Casino Battle Royal, but I don't think it'll be as him. It'll probably be as like a max, the masked figure again. You know, just, just so he can be a part of it it's, and he doesn't actually have to fully get back into wrestling. I feel like that'll be his, but Tom actually went as far as to say CM Punk will come, get involved in this and actually win it. I guess we'll see what happens, there could be massive surprises during this, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. I mean some of the names that have actually been confirmed for this are like Sonny Kiss, Joey Janela, Jimmy Havoc, Billy Gunn, uh, Jungle Boy, I mean that looks like this is going to be a pretty interesting uh, battle royal. Really looking forward to it. Next up, we've got a tag team match. Uh, one of the teams, Adeno. The other one, I'm, go I'm not going to lie, I don't know them. I don't actually know them. Uh, it's the Best Friends versus An Angelico and Jack Evans. Like, honestly, I'm sorry Like if you know who they are. I, I don't. Uh, it's my understanding that they're for tri AAA. I'm, I'm probably getting that wrong, but I, I don't actually know who they are. But hey, the best friends, obviously, I know who they are. Trent Barretta and Chuck Taylor. Fucking brilliant. Um, for me in this one, I'm obviously going to be going with the best friends. I don't even know the other tag team, so it'd be kind of stupid of me to go for the other team that I don't actually know. Tom Tom's exactly the same. He doesn't know the other team. So he's gone with the best friends along with me. I wish I could actually talk about this a lot more. Wish I could actually probably get into it, but I, I just don't know the other two. Next up, a match that I am 
So looking forward to it. It's the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Bros for the AAA Tag Team Championships. Now, the build for this has been brilliant. For before the Lucha Bros came in and dropped them, uh, just literally the announcement that the Lucha, the Lucha Bros were going to be a part of this. Uh, it was like shockwaves. We're getting a fucking fantastic... Fantastic match. Like, there's no other way to put it. These are two of the best tag teams in the world. Like when you when you're sitting down trying to think up dream tag team matches, uh, like with WWE tag teams, these are usually the tag teams that you put against the WWE superstars. So I cannot wait for this. It's going to be fucking brilliant. Tom's actually gone with his favorite, well, one of his favorite uh, tag teams, and that's the Lucha Bros. Uh, and to be fair, like, I don't think you can pick a team and have somebody upset with picking the team here. Like, no matter which way you go, the, the fan favourites, aren't they? They just are. Uh, but for me, I'm going to go with the Young Bucks. I, I think I'm always going to be going with the Young Bucks. This is going to be an AJ Styles situation where as, as long as it, it's gone, I'm going to go with the Young Bucks. So next up, we've got a six-woman tag, three-on-three. Three. Aja Kong, Yuka Sak Sakazaki, and Emi Sakura versus Hikura Shida, Riho Abe, and Ryo Mizunami. Uh, don't really know much about, me, like, Aja Kong, like, I, I know who she is, but, mmm. And I, I need to get more into my indie wrestling, like, I'm a casual indie wrestling fan and that's horrible to say. Um, like I know a lot of wrestlers from the indie circuit and I watch matches online but for this reason and this reason alone I need to start getting Mara Mara in here. For me I'm going to go with Team Magic Kong. Like she's, she is a beast. Like I have seen her like in quite a few matches uh, and I've watched quite a few on YouTube but it's about as far as I can go with it really. Thomas is going to be gone with Hikura, Shida, Riho Abe and Ryo Mizunami just literally for the spirit of competition because we don't really know much about it. We really need to get back into watching full time. This one I've been looking forward to because I've not really seen anything for the uh, Chinese wrestling side. Um, I don't think many people really have. Uh, this is SCU versus Stronghearts. Uh, Strong Hearts made up of three wrestlers from O O W E. Uh, that's a Chinese wrestling company. So, I, it's going to be interesting to actually see where this goes. But you know, what? I'm a big SCU fan. Like the first time I ever watched the Indies, uh, Christopher Daniels was one of my favourites back in the day. Uh, this is when I first got in a. Uh, Impact, was it called Impact when I got into it? Or was yeah. it TNA? TNA originally, I One, one of my favourite moves back in the day was his corkscrew. Fucking amazing. So I am going to stick with SEU on this. There's no way I can go against them. Tom's gone with SEU just literally because of Christopher Daniels. Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian are fucking brilliant as well. But it literally comes down to Christopher Daniels. He's he's a long time favourite for the both years. Like, we're not going to go against them on this. Next up, we've got the women's triple threat match. This is Britt Baker versus Nyla Rose versus Kylie Ray. This one's a tough one to call. For me, it's between two of them, but I'm, I'm going to stick with the doctor, Dr. Britt Baker. Aye, Britt, Britt Baker's fucking incredible. Um, I mean, we saw Britt Baker last year at All In uh, in that Fatal 4-Way match, and it was a fucking amazing match up against Madison Rain, Chelsea Green and Tessa Blanchard. It was an absolutely incredible match. The fans were fucking behind it. I was behind it and I was just sat watching on a little fucking TV. Like I've not even got a big TV. It's literally the size of my fucking computer screen and I was behind it. I was fucking chanting and everything so I I love Britt Baker. She's fucking incredible. Uh, Thomas had the same tour as me, so he's decided to go with the opposite one for me. He's gone with Kylie Ray. Kylie Ray's definitely not a bad choice either. Kylie Ray's fucking brilliant. Um, guess we just need to wait and see what happens. I am so looking forward to this. 
Now we get on to a match that's been a long time in the making. It's Cody versus Dustin. Uh, I think they were meant to be doing something with this on WWE when it came to the whole Stardust gimmick. But uh, Cody was gone before they could actually finish it all. So, here we're like seeing the end of it now. Tom's gone with Cody. Uh, I, don't bl I don't blame him. It's kind of hard to see Cody losing this. The first uh, AEW pay-per-view, I, I, uh, I've got to say, I don't really see Cody losing it either. Unless they're building it towards another match. But no, I feel like this is a one and done thing. And it's a case of showing that the new generation is better than the old generation. So, although I want to say Dustin for the spirit of competition, it's got to be Cody. I'm not going up against, I'm not going against Cody on this one. So now we move on to the main event. Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega. And this has got massive implications as well. Uh, the winner of this match will go on to face the winner of the Casino Battle Royal for, to, well, to crown the first ever AEW World Champion. So, massive, massive stipulation in this match. The first time that we saw these two up against each other, uh, it ended up being Kenny Omega walking away with a victory at Wrestle Kingdom 12. So, I'm going to go with Chris. I'm going to go with Chris, uh, and we'll see where it goes for there. Actually, no. I'm quick time changing it. I'm changing it because of my pick for the Battle Royal. I'm going to say that we're going to see uh, Kenny Omega versus John Moxley to crown the first ever AEW World Champion. And as for Thomas, he's gone with Kenny as well because he would like to see Kenny versus CM Punk. Bayfield's uh, gone with Kenny literally because we we want to see that match. Like for me, uh, don't get me wrong, John Moxley versus Chris Jericho would be fucking incredible. Um, but we have already had something like that. We had uh, Chris Jericho versus Dean Ambrose in WWE, so we want something like purely, purely fresh. And I feel like this will be purely, purely fresh. At least in my mind. <laughs> but there you go. There's our predictions for AEW's Double or Nothing. Looking forward to what should be an absolutely fantastic fucking pay-per-view. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think, think it could be any worse than fucking Money in the Bank was. Especially with that bastard in ending. Aye, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it and hoping it does very, very well. Um, obviously, the forfeits for this will be... Double or nothing, uh, we, Tom's got his chair shots and I've got to be doing that, but whoever loses this will be doing both instead, so I look forward to seeing that. Uh, since this is a wrestling video and Tom's not here, I will just quick time give you a Wah! And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you did, don't forget to buttfuck that like button. Peace.